After figuring out how to get nine front to talk to various pins on a Raspberry Pi, I bought some things from Adafruit. A well-known problem with the Raspberry Pi is that it lacks an onboard real-time clock and a battery to keep the time. Rather than just buy a simple clock with a battery, I decided to go the more interesting route of using a GPS receiver. Plan 9 has a GPS file server, and the TimeSync program to update the system time can even read from the GPS file system. I purchased the Adafruit Ultimate GPS version 3. And there was a note that said due to the chip shortage, they had to source some other GPS chips. But not to worry, as they were 100% compatible with what they had been selling. This is what experts call foreshadowing. So I plug in the GPS unit, run GPS FS, and I get errors and reports of malformed GPS data. I cat the raw output from the serial port, check it against the NMEA standards, and it is completely garbled. Uh, but I did notice that it was reading data from more than just the American GPS satellites. I'm not showing video of this because the data does include bits and pieces of my location, especially those with a GN prefix. And the GN prefix means it is at least getting a fix using the Russian GLONASS system, or more exactly, a combination of satellites. So first was to figure out why the serial traffic was getting garbled. Suspecting it was the Pi, because the Pi has let me down before, I looked into it. Sure enough, the Pi does have features turned on at boot to use the pins as a console for boot messages. I tried disabling this in config.txt, but it didn't clean up the serial output enough. It also says that this is an option in commandline.txt, uh, and it's part of that feature too, so I removed it. I booted up the Pi with all the serial port features turned off and tried GPSFS again. While it wasn't reporting errors, it still was not getting a location or more importantly the current time. Checking the raw output of the serial line and it was all perfectly formatted. So disabling the console stuff at boot did help. But the only location and time data was with the help of the GLONASS system. So it was time to dig into Plan 9's code to see what was going wrong. The GPS FS program is set to only parse NMEA commands prefixed with a GP. That's for data from just the GPS system. What I needed it to do was to read the identically formatted data, but from lines prefixed with a GN. So I copied the supplied code, changed a few words, gave it a little Soviet flair, and installed it. So I have the GPS unit hooked up to my CPU server Raspberry Pi, so I'll our CPU to it. And it needs to use the UART device as a serial console, but that isn't set up by default, so I have to add it. And now it's time to run my new GPS FS. To make the little hammer and sickle, you tap Alt and then a capital S and a capital U. I have to add the location of my serial port and set the baud rate to be one that works with the chip. And there's other options you can put in there, but I just left all the default. So it goes and puts it in mount GPS. And there we go. It's actually getting good latitude, longitude, and time. And it's actually pulling down time and properly formatting it for the system. So 
Hope this helps with anyone else using 9 front to mess with serial pins on a Raspberry Pi. And as always, have fun.